So let's get started. So our first order of business on this January 21st Highgate Select Board meeting is the Pledge of Allegiance. So I pledge allegiance to the flag, to the flag of the United, United States, States of America, America. And, and to, to the, the republic, republic for which it stands, which it stands one, nation, one nation under God, under God indivisible, indivisible, with liberty, liberty and, justice and justice for all. Thank you all. Hello, Mr. Harper. Hello there. Would you like to be on our public comments? Sure. Okay. You're up. <laughs> I'm up already? Oh, yes. We're speedy here. <laughs> okay, wait a second. Are you seeing me? We are. That's interesting. It says, start your cam. <sighs> oh, that's uh, mine. Ah, okay. Just ignore that. Well, I'm here to talk, obviously, about summer sounds. So I don't have really anything prepared. It's more, what do we want to do? Do you have any ideas? Yeah. Um, Obviously, we'd like to go ahead with it again, or, or go back to going ahead with it this summer. Um, the difficulty that we're going to face is that the state is still giving us some guidelines that say, yeah, don't do these big outdoor events unless you have uh, contact tracing and fencing and six feet of, of uh, distance and all the rest. So I think part of the, the problem with doing it is going to be, can we get enough manpower to make that all happen? Well, I think <clears throat> we could probably round up some volunteers. Um, I don't think that would be a problem. Okay. What do you think about a, a drive-in musical performance? I'm okay with it, but it wouldn't be able to be done in the park. And the reason I say that is I don't think that we have enough space at the park in order to get a reasonable number of cars. Right. My thought was, <clears throat> what about the Falls Park? where people could actually park toward uh, the performers, you know, on the park street side. Hmm. Could we ever make that a drive-in spot? Well, we it, has, it has the advantage that um, uh, we'd enter it from the backside, which means that we're not running into a traffic problem. So, yeah, I think if we, uh, <laughs> this also kind of fits in with the town desire to use the falls, or yeah, the falls park, the falls park or the, uh, yeah, the falls park, sorry, uh, the town desire to use that park rather than the, uh, the Highgate Center Municipal Park. Well, logistically at this time, Mm -hmm. It would seem to make more sense because you have more space. Right. Um, and then we'd know for sure if that was a usable yeah. idea or not for... Yeah, if people are willing to do it, then that's a, that's a good proof of concept for us. Right. Yeah, I'm all for that. I mean, I think with that plan, we could certainly go ahead. All right. I know people missed that a lot this summer. Yeah, a couple of the things we probably won't be able to do unless we really have some brainstorms is the social. Uh, one of the things that people miss is obviously being able to visit with their friends and that's a lot harder as of today. Now the rules may change when we all have shots, but right. who knows. Um, 
whatever we do, I'm a little reluctant to uh, to go out and ask the hosts to to start planning up having the bake sale or uh, or other kinds of activities that we usually have for our socials. Right. If we did a drive-in at the Falls Park, could we do um, something similar to the farmer's market where, you know, you're still making your social distance and, um, you know, you don't all get out of your cars at once to go for your things? I mean, throwing out ideas here. One of the, the things that, and I have not looked very much at, at these drive-in uh, concerts that other towns have done, uh, but one of the things that I have heard about is that most of them lay out specific spaces for the cars to park in. And the spaces are big enough that people can get out of their cars and assuming uh, that they're setting up lawn chairs and, you know, stay in their, in their parking space, as it were. Yes, yeah. Um, I don't think we can keep people from getting out of their cars or ask them to get out one at a time because everybody's going to want to be able to hear the music and they're not right, going right. to sit in the car to hear that. But with that plan, you know, if we have a way that we can either paint the grass as it were, or otherwise line out the, uh, uh, the parking spaces for people, I think it would work pretty well. Now, what we probably should do, and you may have guessed that I can't do this because I'm 1800 miles away, uh, we probably should measure out the space and figure out how many cars that we can get in there. Because the other thing is that we may have to actually limit attendance. Right. Okay. Darren. Yeah. It sounds like we we need a field. You know, it, it, it's still going to be pretty pretty good crowded, isn't it, over at the Falls Park? Well, was that to me or to Sharon? Either I'm one of this. <laughs> My audience size typically runs somewhere between about 40 people at the smallest and about 200 at the largest. Uh, I don't think we've gone much over 200. I suspect this year we're going to be higher in attendance simply because there aren't very many other things happening for people. So they're likely to, to want to come out. Plus the fact that, uh, that they didn't get to do it this past summer. Right. So, so uh, 200 people at that park, that's going to be pretty crowded, huh? Yeah, that's going to be crowded. So, um, I got another place. I don't know. I don't know if there's any possibility that uh, we probably have to check with the school. But uh, what about the field beside me? What um, kind of access is there, Richard? What's that? What kind of access is there? There's a, a driveway. Uh, there's a driveway to drive right into it when we we park. They park cars there when uh, you had uh, bicentennial or, or the, the the town was so many years old. It, there's actually a pretty good uh, driveway. Do we have power there? No. You'd have to run power for, from the neighbors, probably. Mm. Well, I wonder, too, what about the field days? Yeah, that's a, that'd be a good one. You know, maybe we can work something out with them to they, offer space. They may not be as busy this year. Uh, you know, they try to rent the, the property every weekend for something. Right. Uh, weddings and other events, but they may not have a lot of weddings and other events going on. Usually, you're usually on Sunday nights, right, Dick? Yep, always on a Sunday night, always oh, at 7 o'clock. 
usually Sunday nights, you they don't seem to be too busy, I don't think, but. Right, I would assume they're more Saturday weddings and that court, uh, sort of thing. Mm -hmm. It's a thought, and then you'd have power. Yeah, we'd have, we, actually, we'd have a lot of the things that the state would like us to have, power, um, uh, fence so we can control entry, yep. uh, gates for checkpoints, uh, and and very easy parking. Right. Is, uh, Sharon. Yeah. I didn't tell. Is Keith isn't on? Is he? Mm, I don't see him. Okay. He, he's a he's a director. I could check with him. One of. Yeah, them. I mean it's a. Uh... It's an option to consider. Yeah. But yeah, I think we'd very much like to do something. It's just the logistics and the location at this point. Right. Well, I'm certainly open to any place that you'd like to go with it. This is, uh, this is going to be so difficult that, uh, uh, people are going to expect to be moved and, and shaken. So uh, my only needs are to, to meet the, the state guidelines, uh, to get power. I don't think that we need to worry about bathrooms this time around because bathrooms are such a hassle for uh, uh, clean, cleaning that nobody wants to do it. You know, tell folks to go to the potty before they come and after they leave. One thing that would help wherever we go is if we could borrow from somebody a flatbed trailer or something else that we could use for a stage. Yeah, we can figure that shouldn't be a problem. Okay. Okay. Heidi, is, is Wendy on? Yes, I'm here. Uh, Wendy, I uh, are you getting email from me? I got an email from your wife. Yeah, but did you get anything from me? No. Oh. <clears throat> uh, check your spam folder then, because I've sent you several today. Uh, one of them was my request for money and... and uh, sort of a breakdown of what I learned from the uh, the big VRPA meeting today about safe outdoor venues. Shelly, have you seen anything as far as money? Uh, you have $3,000 that I have not cut the check yet because I don't know where to send it. Oh, that's left over from last year, isn't it? Nope, that's this year. Oh. Okay. And the budget that's going in front of the town on town meeting day, um, there's another 3000 for summer sounds. Are, are you telling me that I'm going to have $6,000 for a $3,000 season? Cool. <laughs> right. But it sounds like you might have to rent a space to hold the concerts. All right. Well, if I've got that kind of money coming in, then, uh, then I don't, think at least at this stage, we need particularly to talk about any additional funding uh, because there may very well be more than enough. I may be turning money back to you. Um, well, you don't need to do that. It needs to stay with the All Arts Council because that's how the residents voted for that money to go. Okay. I guess if you wanted to donate it back, that's going to be up to you. But they voted to give $3,000 to the All Arts Council. So that money belongs to the All Arts Council. Gotcha, so we're kind of stuck with it no matter what. Right, so you have a check for $3,000 that's on my desk that was returned to me because you didn't come back to Vermont. Right. And then you have 3,000 that I did not cut the check yet because you haven't been back to Vermont. So you do have $6,000 right now. Okay, well then we have, I'm sure plenty of money to, uh, to make this happen. 
uh, I still have to go out and beat up the sponsors, but uh, I'm hoping that Anne will be able to do that when she gets back because I think she's going to get back before I do. All right. Um, one of the pieces of good news for us is that last summer, places like Montpelier and the Lotus Lake Camp in Wil Williamstown and Very Merry Theater and and a bunch of others did outdoor events. So there's already some, some stuff on the ground about how to do this. <clears throat> so I think we can pull that off. Um, we may wanna do some new signage just to make sure people know where to go because we know that a lot of, of how we get people to go there is the big green sign in the park. Yes, I would agree with that, especially if we're going to change the site. Mm -hmm. No, we can have a new one made up. Okay. Um, Heidi, I'll shoot you a copy of the, the same email I sent to, uh, to Wendy, and you can pass the, there's a PDF attached to it that, uh, that has the official request, so you'll have it on record. And, uh, and my notes from the, the meeting this morning, so everybody has it. Okay. Sounds like you have the start of a plan. Sounds like we do. And I guess the only other thing to talk about is the fact that I'm still looking to retire. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe Richard can take over for me. I got enough on my plate right now. <laughs> I thought you had um, had a, a good prospect last time we talked. Or well, I you did, know? but you know, things yeah. sort of haven't happened. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, we'll talk about that uh, next time we see each other or sometime. Well, you know, best laid plans of mice and men. Yeah, I, we figured that last year was going to be the 30th year, so <laughs> like, looks like that changes a little, too. Yeah, surprise. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right, well, thank you very much. Well, thank you for fitting me in. This was nice. Yeah, I'm sure that our folks will all be delighted to hear you're coming back. Yep, for at least uh, the warm months, anyway. <laughs> It's bloody cold down here, I want you to know. We've already dropped down into the 60s. Oh, my. Yeah, it's just awful. Feel for you. Yeah, I know. I'm, at least I'm wearing my shirt tonight. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much. Have All a good righty. night. You, you too. Day. Have a good meeting. Take care. I'm going to leave now. Okay. So is there anything else for public comment? All right, hearing none. Shelly. Hello. Hello. I'm not sure my internet is good enough at home to do both video and voice, so. Okay. On the check run, there was one late addition on, um, for DeWolf for the Macy Road slide in the amount of $739.99, one of their progress bills. Um, and other than that, everything else that was emailed to you is the same. Okay. All right, has everyone had a chance to look at the check warrants? Yes. 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 Okay, do I have a motion to sign at a later date? I'll sponsor that motion. All right, do I have a second? Okay. 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 All those in favor uh, say aye. Aye. Okay. Just a real quick update. We got the proof back for the town report today and um, it will be printed and probably hard copies back in the hands of us. I would say by next week sometime, we will have them out to the public in the 
regular spots. We'll drop some at McEwen's, um, Martin's and the Gilbert's in the Springs and the library, DeSorcy's, the post office. Um, so we should have those back next week. And uh, just a quick little update, delinquent taxes are down $110,964. So they are, uh, I don't remember a year that the balance was so low so early in the, in the year. Very pleased with everyone's payments. Yep, that's great. Okay, anything else for us? That is it. Okay. <laughs> Kyle, I don't want you to be forgotten. We see you there. Hope you're feeling good, buddy. Good evening, everybody. Hello, Kyle. Okay, we'll move right on to Wendy. <laughs> okay. Um, we have three sets of minutes. Um, January 5th budget to regular meeting on the 7th and your site visit on the 9th. Okay. So has everyone had a chance to look at those minutes? Yes. Okay. Can I have a motion to accept the minutes of the 5th budget meeting? I'll make that motion. I'll second that motion. Okay. All those in favor say aye. 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 I have a motion for the regularly scheduled select board meeting on the 7th. I'll make that motion. Okay, do I have a second? Second that motion. Okay, all those in favor say aye. 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 Okay, and the last one, uh, can I have a motion for the approval of the minutes of the site visit on the 9th? So moved. Second it. All right. All those in favor say aye. 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 Okay. All right. Next. Um, uh, some town meeting updates. Uh, Monday the 25th is the deadline for the consent of candidate forms if you want your name to appear on the ballot for town meeting. I will be at the office until five o'clock for those or you can use the drop box. Um, I will be submitting all the information on Tuesday morning to the printers to have our town ballots uh, done up. So a reminder, there's no floor meeting for town meeting. We are gonna strictly be Australian ballot this time. Shelly and I will be at the arena from seven to seven on Tuesday, March 2nd. Uh, absentee ballots are by request. I do have a long list already, which is great. So if you want one, call me or email me, or you can do it through the My Voter uh, page. I'll continue to post as much as I can about that. Um, our info session will be Monday, February 22nd at 6.30. Uh, and I have a Zoom link from Heidi. I'm going to start advertising that tomorrow. Um, I guess that's it on town meeting. Does anybody have any questions? Uh, yeah, Wendy. Um Absentee ballots. Are the ballots going out to all registered voters like we did in the general election? Uh, no. Um, what happened was the governor just signed um, into law for this cycle, giving municipalities that flexibility if they chose to do that. But we had already decided and sent out postcards back in December stating here's how you can get them if you want them. And I have spoken with Kathy and Swanton and Lisa and Franklin, the other two towns in our school district, so that we were all doing the same thing because we're not only mailing a town ballot, we're mailing a school district ballot. Um, so we all wanted to be doing the same thing in the three towns, which we are. So they're by request. Um, they're not automatically going to everyone. People have to either call in or or write call, call or email, send me a smoke signal, a Facebook message. Um, there's lots of ways you can get to me. Heck, people corner me at DeSorcy's and tell me they want one, and that's fine. 
Um, but if you want one, just reach out. Um, there's plenty of ways to do it. But we did have the flexibility to do that, but some towns are, some towns are not. It's a big expense, which uh, we did find out a lot of it is gonna be reimbursable, um, but it's also a huge workload and a very tight time frame. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Um, so that's it about town meeting. Um, quick reminder on dogs, we're doing great. Um, Can I Dropbox is working very well. Um, our rabies clinic tentatively is March 27th. That is going to be uh, dependent on the ice season and if that is extended, which I hope it is because I want the kids to be able to play. Um, but we'll see what happens with that and if we need to reschedule. <laughs> Um, and I have just in the last day gotten a pile of um, liquor license renewal. So if you want to move into that, I can have you approve all of these. Okay. Um, Bruce, did you want to say something before we moved on? Uh, well, I want to go back to the town meeting uh, uh, mechanics at some point in time. Go ahead. Well, anybody got a plan for how it's going to work? To, draw, to host what could be a very large Zoom meeting. Are you talking about the info session? Uh, yeah. Okay. Like for instance, um, it is, well, uh, Heidi, would you be setting up at the uh, municipal office in order to try and handle, have enough bandwidth to handle stuff or? Um, um, I can, um, absolutely. And uh, I had hoped that we would be able to talk about that under select board items and really get a vision for exactly how you wanted it to flow. If you wanna um, do it further on in the meeting, that's fine. I, I'm fine talking about it now. Um, it, it comes down to how the select board would like to move through the topics um, that are up, that are on the ballot. Do you want support for other uh, projects such as the Macy Road? Do you, do you need any additional information from our engineers or and maybe it's something we can uh, start a framework and circulate by email to really see what, what is needed. Um, could we set up something uh, now where um, people can uh, send questions in so that we have a heads up so we know what we should have on hand for people to give them an accurate information. I like that. Um, oh. Go ahead. I like that sort of idea. Uh, ask people what they might have for questions in advance. We could have answers prepared. Um, so how should we go about doing that? Is that something you see on a sign posted around town? Or are you looking for... Um, State it right here. We're on TV. <laughs> absolutely. Uh, in addition to that? Um, it would on be the website, uh, information on the website, I guess. Uh, Maybe something out on the bulletin board, roadside digital bulletin board. Yeah, and even a, a few uh, flyers around town wouldn't be a mess. I think that's what Wendy is already on. She's uh, hoping to start advertising for the meeting. Um, so maybe that can be on that flyer. Questions in advance? 
Uh, yeah, I mean, if, if people have a specific question about the budget, um, about the highway department, you know, if they have a, they want a reasoning why we did something, uh, if they want to jot it down and send it to us. Send it to Heidi. You want, you want me to put Heidi's email on there? What do you want me to do? Yeah, put Heidi's email on there and you can round them up and um, we can put that information in a compilation of what direction we need to talk about. Because for right now, we're gonna assume this is strictly a Zoom meeting. I know the state of emergency is till February, what, 15th at this point? Right. And it's probably unlikely to change at this point. Question, are Zoom meetings, uh, I'm assuming we pay for these or on a plan? I'm sorry, I didn't catch the first part, Vern. Uh, the, the Zoom meetings, are, are we on a free, uh, free Zoom meetings or are we on a, a paid plan for the town to have these? It's a paid plan. Do you know which plan it is? I'm looking at the Zoom website right now because... Uh, well, we, we pay so all of our departments have um, access to set up their own Zoom meetings. So I believe it's $159 annually, which gives us several accounts for each department. Vern, are you looking at maximum participants? Is that what yeah, you're Yeah, so I was looking to see how many we could, we could handle with whatever plan we're on. Um, it's on their website, so it looks like it goes by in increments of 100, 100, 200, 300, up to 500 participants. Which I wonder if most people would still be interested in just taking advantage of the recording rather than actually participating so they may watch it on Northwest Access TV or on the YouTube channel rather than actually chiming in and asking questions. Um, so I suspect we wouldn't have, you know, an incredibly large amount of people, but one never knows. I, I, I don't think we'll have a uh, hundred max is what, is, is what I'm thinking. I can look in the settings um, after we're done this meeting and see what our maximum participation is. But the informational meetings, historically speaking, are very poorly attended. So I'm honestly not worried about it. <laughs> very, very low attendance, but we don't know what the fact that there won't be an actual meeting on town meeting day will do to people. Um, and, and, but I do agree with Shelly and I think that some of the people who typically come to town meeting may not be uh, Zoom interested, <laughs> may not be Zoom friendly and would wait to see a video. Okay. Or um, when it airs on channel 15 or the, the Northwest Access Television, which is why we are holding it on Monday to get the maximum amount of television time um, for that crowd. So, so as board members, are we going to meet at the at the town, or are, are we going to be on these things like we are right now? For, for which meeting? For the for the informational meeting. Are, are we going to meet the the five of us or at, at the town office and to go from there, or are we going to be like we are right now? We can do it either way, Richard. Okay. Because we can still maintain our social distance. Yeah. Um. I I think it'd be nice if we could meet, then that way we can see each other and better discuss things better, I think. Yes, I, I would agree with that. It will make um, 
each one of you a little harder to see because we will have, I mean, unless we. <laughs> yeah, I know what you're saying. We can't also. Yeah. <laughs> right. You know, it's not as easy to video you on one um, screen at right. the office. Um, so unless you, you know, we're all to sit together, but each have your own laptop open. So I don't know, well, I'm, I'm kind of torn would, on that. Would Northwest, Northwest Access be there? I don't know if they're attending um, meetings. Sarah, are you able to comment on that? I couldn't say for certain whether or not, um, but I expect if you contact the office tomorrow, uh, they will be able to help you set something up or give you good advice if they will not be able to do it. But definitely um, ask them and I think they'll be able to give you some good advisement. That's a great idea. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, Heidi, can you take care of that tomorrow? Yes. Okay, thank you. All right, so more to come on that. Um, is that it about town meeting day for right now? Or town meeting information meeting? Okay, so I would make a motion to exit the regularly scheduled select board meeting to enter into the liquor control board meeting. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Okay, so the first pile I have is from the Tyler Place. They have a total of four renewals for 2021. There is a third class license, a first class license, and two outside consumptions. Okay. Does anyone have any questions or concerns about that liquor license? No. Okay, so can I have a motion to sign the liquor license or three liquor, uh, four liquor licenses for the Tyler place? So Make that motion. Okay. Thank you. Okay. All those in favor say aye. 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 Okay, the next one I have is for Martin's General Store, a 2021 renewal for a second class liquor license. Okay, any questions or concerns there? No. Okay. Can I have a motion to sign the liquor license for Martin Store? So moved. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Last one I have is a 2021 renewal for Jolly Associates, Highgate Jolly. It is a second class license. Okay. Any questions? Okay. Can I have a motion to sign the liquor license for uh, the Highgate Jolly? I'll make that motion. Okay. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 I right, like your it. thumbs up, Vern. <laughs> <laughs> so many buttons to play with. <laughs> All right, that is it for me if you want to exit out and I am done. Okay, so I make a motion to exit out of the Liquor Control Board and enter into the regularly selected, <laughs> regularly scheduled select board meeting. Second. Second. All right, all those in favor say aye. 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 Thank you, Wendy. Heidi. Heidi. I will begin with a um, just a public uh, info session, mini info session on the USDA rural development application that we filed for financial assistance. And this is in regards to the airport infrastructure project. So part of uh, requirement to apply to them is that you would have an opportunity for 
residents to understand the project and to ask questions. So this paper, this notice was in the paper and posted around town and it just um, explains that the town of Highgate <clears throat> will file an application to the USDA Rural Development for a financial assistance to develop water and sewer infrastructure to serve the Franklin County Airport and surrounding industrial commercial development area. And it announces this public Zoom meeting today at 630 during the regular scheduled select board meeting. So um, details, further details for anyone that is interested are available by contacting me at um, my phone, 868-4922, or by my email, which is hbvalenta at highgatevt.org. So a brief summary is that the town applied um, for eligibility. They, they are um, seeking eligibility for a loan in the event that they um, do move forward with infrastructure extension from MVU High School to the airport area and the business area around it. Um, this would not be something that the town would commit to until you have a public vote. So it is very similar, bless you, to your um, Northern Borders Regional Commission grant that you received for $507,000. Um, you are in the queue for that money, but you would not be able to access that money until you have a public vote. And both of those are scheduled for a deadline of September 2021. So if the town is able to find enough grants or enough support through the state, either through the transportation bill or a capital budget or any other um, earmark that may come in stimulus funding or any other grant funding, and you feel that um, you have a, a um, a combination of funding that is favorable and you want to put it to a vote, then we would be able to move forward with further funding, um, which could come from the Economic Development Administration. And that would be the bulk of um, the grant money that they're allowed to provide up to 50% of the total project. So, um, not sure if uh, any other information is needed, but I would just say that the town was prompted to look into this um, based on the fact that there is a state planned airport upgrade and it will include a runway extension. Um, and that Swanton Village had recently upgraded the water lines to MVU, bringing it basically one mile within the airport area. Um, and there is also a private development planned on a budding property to the airport for a seven lot commercial park. Um, so um, combining that fact with the point that there is zero available commercial space in Franklin County, as we are told by Franklin County Economic Development, and Burlington Airport is at capacity for cargo planes. Um, and we are, the Franklin County Airport located in Highgate is being considered in the National Guard's 10 year relocation plan as a potential site. So there's a lot of uh, factors that went into um, making the town interested in this um, and then meeting with the village of Swanton it would, both boards decided that it definitely was something they wanted to get more information on. A study was performed to find out what the cost would be and to see what the potential economic development return would be. Um, and both of those studies are available on the Town of Highgate website. And um, it came to be a very favorable scenario. So uh, we are pursuing different options. That enough information? I think that's a great start. So that's it. 
Um, more, avail more information is available on the town website or by calling the office. Um, so I wanted to also talk about the FEMA home buyout, please. Um, we did a um, site visit quite a while ago now and with the state geologist and representatives from the Department of Public Safety who managed the FEMA grants for us. They um, completed a memo that was in your packet, which said, indeed, the property is in danger and that it would make a good applicant for a FEMA home buyout. Um, I met with the landowner to go over the forms with them and um, they were very eager to sign the forms and start the process. So I did send those copies to you all as a part of the meeting packet. They have been executed by the landowner. Um, one of the applications is still um, not complete. We will need to get a little more information before we can actually request the final amount. But there are um, several applications in there that the town can sign at this time. Several of them are the standard federal forms that you've signed for other grants. Um, just acknowledging that you're not delinquent, um, you're not debarred, you, you have um, no lobbying activities, et cetera. So if you are um, in favor of moving forward with that grant, you could authorize Sharon to sign those forms. I'd make that motion. I'll second that motion. Okay, any discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Um, so I also uh, had an application that I sent to you after the packet in a separate email. Um, I completed that a little bit after your packet and that is for a very small grant for $5,000 that comes from your insurance company equipment safety grant. And um, we had discussed previously that the town municipal complex has a very inadequate fire protection system with one smoke detector in the whole building. So we got a grant to upgrade that and create a safer scenario where if you did have a fire, you would be notified much earlier. Um, and so the total price of that project was $17,801. So um, the maximum amount you can get from the equipment grant is 5,000. It would just help to offset the cost. If you're in favor of that, please authorize Sharon to sign that application. I'll make that motion. Second it. Okay. All those in favor say aye. 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 Um, you have an updated grant spreadsheet in there. There aren't many changes from the last time. Um, we do, I do need to move forward um, into the next phase for the Macy Road project. So there are some um, permits that will need to be signed, but we also need to schedule a little time to meet with the landowners and make sure that they're um, okay with everything and we will be needing to get easements from them. So I mentioned to Richard that I'd like to schedule a Zoom with the engineer and the landowners um, and Richard or Sharon, whoever would like to participate in that to um, move us into the right-of-way phase of the project. Okay. Um, set it up. Okay. Um, I need that's it for me. I have to uh, mention a personnel issue and a contractual issue in an executive session. Okay. So select board. So we've talked about the town informational meeting. Is there anything else that we need to discuss? Yeah. Um, 
I want to talk, start talking about it. I don't know if uh, Rec was supposed to mention it uh, about that snark bar over there. I, I'd like to see something happen next uh, summer. And uh, I don't know if, if the Rec is, if Ty's talked to you, Sharon, or? I have not spoken to Ty about that. Um. And I'd have to review our contract with, um, yeah, uh, you know, to see what that says and whether or not those um, contract holders would be interested in doing anything in the summer. Right. Well, I, I think that I, I know I met and talked to Brian a little bit, and he 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 thought Ty was going to bring it up. And talk about uh, well, what's your name, anyways? The one that no, oh, it's Larush, right? Mary, yeah, Mrs. Mary? Yeah. What? No, sorry, not Mary. No. Judy. Judy, Judy and Alan. Alan's wife, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I I, I know they were going to talk to her, and I I just wanted to bring it up here just to see if we could keep things moving, or you know. Yeah, I mean, I guess that's the the first two steps is, well, first step, talk to them, and second, review the contract, and then come up with a plan going forward, depending on what they say. Yeah. Uh, in, in relation to that, I know when um, the... Uh, this not the snack bar, the food truck that came up. I know we talked about we needed to update our uh, vendor, not our vendor. Uh, so the ordinance that had to do with. Uh, uh, anyways, we need. I know we needed to update that. Um, I think it's left over from the dead days selling t-shirts, and we let the, the the truck, the food truck, slide on that. But I, I don't know if you guys remember talking about that back in I think October. We talked about updating that ordinance. Has anything been done on that? No. Is that something we can do during the, the downtime here during the winter? And my question is, I, I don't know, do, do we do that as a select board? Do you work in that, Heidi, or, or do we go ahead? It was offered to the planning commission to tackle that. Okay. Um, and it, it got pushed to the back burner for budgeting, CIP, um, this time of year. So we're, um, they may have some time coming up. They're moving into a planning project, but I think that they can um, maybe hopefully work that in now. It'd be nice to have it done for spring when um, folks with the food trucks want to come up with it. I don't know. We could get more food trucks up here. I think it'd be a good morale thing for the town. Well, I had a request today for information on what to do, so. Oh, okay. So, Wendy, you'll be getting a call. I will. You will. Okay. So, uh, so Sharon, is that all different than what we're talking at the arena? As far as... Snack bars? Yeah. Um, well, the snack bar at the arena is owned by the town. So, yes, that's a little different. It's different. You know, it's not a portable site. It's not... Uh, it already has bathrooms. It already has a location that's... So, yes, it's different. Right. Anything else for the regular select board? Okay, so I would entertain a motion to exit the regularly scheduled select board meeting and enter into executive for personnel, contractual, and legal matters. Do I have a second? 
Second. I'll second. I'll second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Thank you very much.